Did you know that every year 3,000 adults die from choking? Choking, also known as a foreign body airway obstruction, is caused when an object is lodged in the back of the throat, preventing air from going in and out of the lungs. Now imagine you are eating with your family and suddenly a loved one starts to choke. What would you do? Good morning. Today for my job skill demonstration, I am going to be demonstrating how to remove a foreign object from the airway and what to do next if the victim then becomes unresponsive, thus requiring CPR, also known as cardiopulmonary resuscitation. The supplies I'll be using is an adult CPR mannequin, an adult CPR mask attached to a one-way breathing valve to create a barrier between myself and the victim. If a CPR mask is not available and you do not feel comfortable placing your mouth onto the victim's mouth, you can continue with just chest compressions. I will also be using gloves in case of any blood or body fluids are present. To tell if a person is choking is if there are little to no air being exchanged, little to no noise while coughing, cyanosis, which is a blue discoloration of the lips and the nail beds, or grasping his or her neck, giving the universal choking sign. If any of these symptoms are present, the person may be choking and need your help. First, ask the victim if he or she is choking. If they nod yes but cannot talk, continue and say you are going to help them. Stand directly behind them, placing one of your legs in between theirs. Wrap your arm around their waist, making a fist with your hand, placing the thumb side on the abdomen above the navel. Wrap your other hand around your fist, giving quick inward and upward thrust until the object is expelled or until the victim becomes unresponsive. If the victim becomes unresponsive, activate the emergency response system by telling someone to call 911. Lower the victim down to the ground and begin CPR with chest compressions. To perform chest compressions, place the heel of your hand on the lower half of the breastbone in the center of the chest. Place the other hand on top of your first, interlocking your fingers. Straighten out your arm, making sure your shoulder is directly above your hands, and push down at least two inches deep for 30 compressions at a rate of 100 compressions per minute. Open the mouth to see if the object is visible, and if so, you can remove it using your fingers. If the object is not visible, place the CPR mask on the victim's nose and mouth, making a C-shape with your hand to create a tight seal. Tilt the head back while lifting up the chin and give two breaths one second apart. The chest did not rise since there is still an obstructed airway and you will continue with cycles of 30 compressions and two breaths till the object is visible and removed or until medical help arrives. Now I'll be demonstrating what to do if you ever see a person is choking and if they become unresponsive. Sir, sir, are you choking? My victim is not a yes, but cannot talk. I'm going to help you. My victim is now unresponsive, so I'm activating the emergency response system. Someone, call 911. I do not see the object. To recap, first, ask the victim if he or she is choking. If they know yes but cannot talk, continue to say you are going to help them. Wrap your arm around their waist, making a fist with your hand, placing the thumb side on the abdomen above the navel. Wrap your other hand around your fist, giving quick inward and upward thrust until the object is expelled or until the victim becomes unresponsive. If the victim becomes unresponsive, activate the emergency response system by telling someone to call 911 
and lower the victim down to the ground to begin chest compressions. To perform chest compressions, place the heel of your hand on the lower half of the breastbone in the center of the chest. Interlock your other hand on top, straightening out your arm and pushing down at least two inches deep for 30 compressions at a rate of 100 compressions per minute. Open the mouth to see if the object is visible, and if so, you can move it using your fingers. If the object is not visible, place a CPR mask on the victim's nose and mouth, creating a tight seal, and give two breaths one second apart. Continuous cycles of 30 compressions and two breaths till the object is visible and removed or until medical help arrives. <coughs> This skill is important to know if you are ever in a situation where a person is choking, whether it is a loved one or a complete stranger. What an unbelievably good feeling is knowing you have saved someone else's life. Thank you for your time, and this concludes my Jasko demonstration.